Good morning, Brazil! It's Zara. And I'm Anna, and we're your hosts for this morning. We're going to do a little Throwback Thursday segment on the history of Brazil. So, what do you think about the colonization and imperialist period? Well, I know that Brazil's independence was declared by Dom Pedro I in 1822 after he was left behind by the Portuguese royal family to govern Brazil. What do you know about the military rule? Well, I know that the first president was Fernando Collor de Mayo, who was elected in 1989, but his poor economic decisions and corruption hurt Brazil's economy, which caused his eventual resignment in 1992. But the economy began healing in 1994, right? Right. After Fernando Cardoso created an extremely effective anti-inflation plan. Later, he then became the first president to be elected for two consecutive years. That's yeah. impressive. So, and what do you think about the carnival this year? Well, the Portela Samba School is getting ready for the Rio 2018 carnival. Um, they're among the most traditional karaoke samba schools, and they're considered the crib for the greatest bambas, which are iconic samba composers. Um, they own the highest number of titles, which is 22, and they are also the founder of the samba school's culture in Rio de Janeiro. Some of Portela's most memorable som samba and rados are still played in Rodas de Samba today. I'll let Emily explain more on that later. What do you know about Venezuelan refugees? Well, for thousands of Venezuelan refugees in Brazil, the road to relief runs through an isolated state where ranchers, miners, and traffickers <coughs> exploit desperate migrants in conditions akin to slavery. More than 4 million Venezuelans have fled the country, seeking relief from food and medicine shortages under the oppressive rule of Nicolas Maduro. For the Venezuelans escaping to Brazil, more than 50,000 so far, there is usually only one way in, the BR-174 highway, a desolate 600-mile road that cuts through some of the most remote territory in South America, where profiters trump the rule of law. And at least 10 Venezuelans have been rescued from slavery in the past year. Yet the abuse of refugees at the hands of powerful businessmen and landowners is an, but another stunning example of how crime pays in Brazil. In February, Brazil's federal government declared a state of emergency on the border, allowing Venezuelans to sidestep the Byzantine asylum process and seek two-year stay permits, granting access to social benefits and work. <coughs> Now, the military and civil society are scrambling to control the flow of migration and help refugees avoid homeless, hunger, and disease. Brazil's immigration and refugee, refugee policies are welcoming in spirit, but not always in practice. In terms of visual art, Roberto Burl Marx has made urban Brazilians especially aware of the splendors of their natural environment by replacing the traditional formal European style gardens containing imported plants with a profusion of native species in approximation to their natural settings. Hi everyone, it's Emily and I am out here on the streets of Brazil as they are setting up for their annual carnival. Brazil is an annual Brazilian religious festival which is held between the Friday afternoon before Ash Wednesday and Ash Wednesday at noon, which marks the beginning of Lent, which is the 40-day period before Easter in the Catholic religion. Each area has their own samba school and they compete against their local rivals in the carnival. The schools are judged on their elaborate floats, costumes, dancing, and music. This is a very important competition and some schools spend over four million dollars on outfits and preparations. Costumes are an essential element of carnival. The blocko parties are the perfect time to cut loose and dress up as any character you like. Many carnival pla goers plan different costumes for each day, but they aren't the Venetian regale costumes you might see in Italy's carnival. This is Brazil, after all, so anything goes. Carnival is one of the most perfect examples of the vibrant and brilliant art and culture of Brazil. Not only is carnival incredibly important to the culture, but food is as well. Portuguese cuisine also played a large part in shaping Brazilian cuisine, as they came in the 16th century and brought many different European influences. The Portuguese introduced cattle, pigs, salt cod, sugar, and coffee to the food culture of Brazil. As a result, Brazilians now enjoy sweetened coffee and desserts. 
One thing that I learned about Brazil that was really cool to me was um, learning about the carnival. I really enjoyed learning about the culture and, um, you know, how Brazilians spend their time each year. And um, I think it's special to me because one day I would like to be able to experience that and see that culture because it's always been a dream of mine to be a part of that. And I love dancing and singing and food and being around people, so. A personal connection I made when we were doing this project about Brazil was honestly its culture. I think it's really cool how much culture there is all throughout Brazil, not just the carnival, but including the food, the history of the country. I thought that everything about it was really cool. Um, so something that I thought that was really cool that we learned about was that carnival is actually a religious celebration, and I didn't know that before, and I thought that was really cool. Um, the thing that I mainly enjoyed learning about was the art and culture of Brazil because it's just so colorful and vibrant and lively and really interesting to learn, like, the history behind it also. And um, if I could visit anywhere, I would just want to go wherever Carnival is because I really, that's one of my goals is to go to Carnival one day. Thanks for tuning in this morning. Once again, I'm Anne. And I'm Sarah. And catch us tomorrow morning on Good Morning Brazil.